Is now a good time to buy Tesla stock? Well, it's been on a downward trend and it's currently 60 points lower than its all-time high. But let me tell you, it's a fantastic company for the long term. In this video, we'll delve into the intriguing task of estimating the number of vehicles produced and delivered by every single factory for each month of the second quarter. So if you're ready, let's dive right into it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Beginning with Tesla Shanghai in April, we focus on vehicle deliveries rather than production since our ultimate goal is to determine the deliveries. While we don't have the exact production numbers, we can assume a range of 70,000 to 80,000 vehicles produced, which we'll discuss later in the video. For April, Tesla Shanghai recorded an impressive count of nearly 76,000 vehicle deliveries. For this month, we estimate a production figure of approximately 73,000 vehicles. The same calculation applies to June, except it has 30 days resulting in 25 days of production. Thus, June's production stands at around 70,000 vehicles. Combining May and June, Shanghai's production for Q2 totals nearly 143,000 vehicles. If we add the previously mentioned 75,000 vehicles produced in April, pending official confirmation, the overall Q2 production figure for Shanghai would be around 218,000 to 220,000 vehicles. Impressive numbers, especially considering the recent price cuts and market dynamics. Now let's shift our focus to Tesla Fremont. Currently, Fremont's daily production stands at around 1,700 vehicles. By multiplying this figure by the number of days in April and May, 30 and 31 respectively, we estimate that Fremont produced around 51,000 vehicles in April and almost 53,000 vehicles in May. Considering April, May, and June together, Tesla Fremont is estimated to produce approximately 153,000 vehicles in Q2. This is a pretty solid performance, aligning with the factory's maximum capacity of around 650,000 vehicles, at least for now. In Berlin, Tesla's production is reaching new heights. Just a few weeks ago, they achieved a remarkable milestone by surpassing a weekly production rate of 5,000 vehicles. That's equivalent to an impressive 714 vehicles being churned out every single day. But let's dive deeper and explore the anticipated madness of Q2 for Tesla Berlin. We'd say that for April, we can expect 20,000 vehicles and for May, 21,000. Looking ahead to June, Berlin has a full month of production without any holidays. With further improvements, the production rate is projected to increase to 800 vehicles per day. By multiplying this by 30 days, we can anticipate an impressive 24,000 vehicles being manufactured just in June alone. In summary, during Q2 2023, Tesla Berlin is poised to produce just shy of 65,000 vehicles, a record-breaking achievement. Tesla's operation in Texas have faced some delays due to the adoption of the advanced 4680 batteries. However, despite the slower pace, progress is being made. In April, I estimate a daily production rate of 570 vehicles, which when multiplied by 7 days, resulted approximately 4,000 vehicles for the month. In May, we anticipate a production rate of 600 vehicles per day, leading to a total of around 18,600 vehicles for the month. Over the course of 28 days, this translates to approximately 17,500 vehicles produced in June. In summary, for Q2 2023, Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas is estimated to manufacture just shy of 52,000 vehicles. Although not as high as projected, this still represents a considerable output. Excluding April, Tesla Shanghai has already produced 412,000 vehicles. If we factor in a 90% delivery rate, the total deliveries for Shanghai, including April, would amount to around 447,000 vehicles. To estimate overall production, we can add 75,000 vehicles to account for the number of deliveries made. Thus, we arrive at an approximate production figure of over 487,000 vehicles. If Tesla manages to deliver over 447,000 vehicles in total, their year-to-date deliveries for 2023 would be close to 870,000 vehicles, an impressive achievement. We eagerly await the release of May's figures for Tesla Shanghai, which will provide a clearer picture. Stay tuned for an upcoming update on these numbers. With their production set to ramp up, record-breaking deliveries are on the horizon. So let's hit that like button and explore the projected stock prices for Q2, Q3, and Q4, and even the end of 2023. Starting with Q2, we anticipate Tesla delivering an astounding 447,000 vehicles. The numbers are staggering and it's exhilarating to witness this grow. 
However, we must consider the average selling price, which has been increased to $45,000 by the end of Q2 due to rising prices. These price hikes impact the overall revenue and company's bottom line. Now let's take a closer look at the financials. We have the credits, services, leasing, and gross profits to consider. For Q1, the gross profit margin was 18.3% and we're conservatively estimating it at around 18.4% for Q2. With over $20 billion in total vehicle revenue, we expect gross profits to surpass an impressive $3.7 billion. The revenue projections for Q2 alone stand at almost $25 billion with a gap net income of around $2.7 billion and a non-gap net income for over $3 billion. In the realm of Wall Street estimates, we've witnessed some fluctuations in the projected earnings per share for Tesla. Initially starting at $0.81, cents, these estimates have now settled at $0.71. Cents. However, it's important to note that these figures might not fully account for the recent price increases observed in the market. As of now, the projected non-GAAP earnings per share for Tesla stands at a promising $0.89. Cents. This higher projection indicates the possibility of a potential rally in Tesla stock, especially if they surpass the estimated $0.71 cents by a significant margin. In such a scenario, we could potentially witness a price-to-earnings P.E. ratio of 55 or even 60, indicating a market sentiment that values the company highly. However, to maintain a conservative approach, let's consider a P.E. ratio of 50. Based on this conservative prediction, we can estimate a target stock price of $176 per share. It's important to note that the current value of Tesla stock is approximately $170, meaning there's a potential for an increase in value if the projected earnings per share exceed expectations. These calculations and considerations provide an overview of the potential growth and value of Tesla stock, allowing investors to make informed decisions in this dynamic market environment. Moving forward, let's shift our focus to Q3 and Tesla's 2023 Q3 revenue and profits, plus stock price prediction. Brace yourselves for more growth. I'm conservatively estimating deliveries of 465,000 vehicles for Q3 with an average selling price of $46,000. This increase in average selling price will further boost the vehicle gross profit percentage, setting it at just shy of 19%. As a result, total vehicle revenue for Q3 is projected to exceed an impressive $21 billion, with total vehicle profit soaring above $4 billion. Considering expenses, energies, and other factors, we anticipate Tesla's revenue for Q3 to surpass $26.5 billion with a net income of over $3 billion in the gap and almost $3.5 billion in non-gap calculations. This translates to estimated non-gap earnings per share of $0.99 cents and $0.88 cents for gap earnings. Tesla's Q2, Q3, and Q4 predictions are nothing short of remarkable. The numbers show consistent growth and a promising future for the company. If Tesla manages to exceed the estimates and crush expectations, we might witness a massive rally in their stock, potentially pushing their P.E. to 55 or even 60. However, to remain cautious, I'll stick with a P.E. ratio of 50 for now, resulting in a stock price of $176 per share. Of course, there's always the possibility of missing the mark. We could lead to a P.E. as low as 40 or 45. However, if they manage to surpass earnings once again, we could see a P.E. ratio rise to 55 or even 60. That's right, things could get interesting from October 2021 to January 2024. Based on my analysis, it appears that Tesla's poised to end the year with a bang. Brace yourselves, my friends, because I'm envisioning a remarkable feat, the delivery of a jaw-dropping 500,000 vehicles. Each of these vehicles is expected to carry an average selling price of $47,000, which adds an exhilarating dimension to the equation. But that's not all. What truly sets this projection apart is Tesla's gradually increasing vehicle gross profit margin, which is predicted to reach an impressive 19.2%. This means that their profitability per vehicle is soaring and they can anticipate total vehicle profits of approximately $23.5 billion. With such an extraordinary figure, it's no wonder that their revenue is projected to reach a staggering $4.5 billion. But Tesla's success story does not stop there. There are additional revenue streams to consider, such as their energy-related ventures. When we factor in these supplementary sources and subtract the corresponding expenses, the numbers become even more astounding. We're looking at a mind-boggling $29 billion in total revenue for the fourth quarter, and their net income is estimated to exceed $3.6 billion. 
Keep in mind, this is supposed to be a recession year, so if all these predictions come true, it would be mind-blowing. Compared to the other automakers, Tesla's performance would look off the charts. The EPS non-GAAP is estimated to be around $1.16, which brings us back to Q4 of 2022. That's pretty impressive considering the challenges they faced. By January 2024, we should be back in a bull market, which makes a PE ratio of 60 seem reasonable for Tesla. However, if things take a turn for the worse, and there are a few more price cuts and unexpected events, the PE ratio could drop back to 40, 35, or even 30. Now, let's be realistic and discuss the potential price ranges for the end of this year. I'm thinking the stock could hover in the low 200s, reaching as high as $220 or even $240. My price target for the end of this year is $260 per share. Reporting on the latest predictions and updates, it's important to approach the following information with a hint of skepticism. However, keep in mind the number 400,000 as it signifies the expected delivery of vehicles in the second quarter. While these figures may change in the future, it's crucial to stay subscribed for the further updates. Now, let's address the burning question. Is this a favorable time to invest in Tesla stock? With its recent price decline of 60% from its peak, Coupled with his reputation as a strong long-term investment, many are contemplating their next move. To help you navigate this decision, we highly recommend that you do your own research and study them carefully, please. Remember though, this is all just a prediction, so take it with a grain of salt. Always do your due diligence and research before making any investment decisions. So keep this number in mind, folks. 447,000. That's the number of vehicles Tesla is expected to deliver in Q2. That's pretty much everything for this video. If you like this content, please be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to Tesla Stock News.